Benji? Meow. Meow. Good morning. Oh, good morning. And good morning to you. Like a doggy. Good morning. Want loves? Oh, you're mushy in the morning. What? Tell me about it. Oh, Benji. Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Welcome back to my channel. It is gonna rain literally all day today, but we've got things to do. This is an exciting vlog. Here, wait, before I turn you guys around. Outfit of the day. Princess Polly, Amazon Tank. I bought more of these, by the way. I'm a medium, and I tried the small, and I like the medium the way that it fits me better. So, just for size reference. And then I'm wearing Fabletics leggings, some of my faves, and Adidas Princess Polly purse, Amazon earrings. So, raining crappy day, but we have things to do. This is, I wanted to document this because I feel like one day I'm gonna look back on it and be like, oh my gosh. Um, well, first of all, we're heading to a Zumba class because I just wanna get my workout in. And then right after, like I probably have to leave before we start stretching, but I am going to get vaccinated. I'm so excited. Zane went yesterday and he just had a sore arm. He was totally fine. I know that they say like the second one kind of makes some people feel crappy, so we'll see. But I gave my first dose today and yeah, I have to leave the gym like a little bit earlier than the class ends to get there but that's the plan so far i'm bringing a protein bar with me for after my workout just in case i don't want to get like faint when i get the shot you know not actually faint but like get faint like not feel well i want to have something in my system even though it might not matter but anyways we're going to zumba i have my little belly dancing scarf in the car i gotta get going though because my class starts soon so let's start the day We've been having some really nice, sunny, beautiful days here. So I wish that was today, but it's foggy and cloudy, but everything happens for a reason, so it's fine. But going to the gym and then going to get vaccinated and having like a nice sunny day would have been like really nice, but it's fine. I'm like feeling the vibes of laying in bed. I'm going to go dance at Zumba. You know what I mean? <laughs> I really need to redo my tan tonight too. That That's something that I need to do. Oh my God. Okay, I didn't film it because I feel like I've been filming it and I was in the front row and setting it up and whatever. We didn't film Zumba. Okay, we're back. Sweating. I left a little bit early so that I can make sure I get to my appointment on time. I'm hand sanitizing. I always take my wipe and I wipe up. Wow. I wipe everything down. My water bottle and everything. It's 10.38 right now. My appointment is at 11.15 and it's about 30 minutes away. So make sure I put in the right address. 36 minute drive. Okay, good thing I left. I probably look like a hot mess. Whew. I'm gonna get there right at 11.15. All right, I'm putting on a podcast. I'm gonna eat my bar. By the way, these s'mores bars, they're really good. Um, but I still like the Snickerdoodle one a little bit better, I feel like, and it's lower calorie because it's a little smaller. But anyways, okay. Podcast, we're out. Time to get vaccinated. I'm scared to film in here, but I'm here. We're doing it. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is bring this arm over this way. Of course, relax. Okay. Just so that it's nice and relaxed. Sure. Okay, the more relaxed the muscle is, the better. Okay. okay. Yep. Might get some self tanner on there. <laughs> well, it came off a little bit. There, it's okay. okay. So just relax. Take a deep breath in through mm -hmm. your nose, out through your mouth. And you're done. <laughs> Amazing, thank you. You're welcome. Hang on just one sec. No problem. I literally just got it done at a fire department, you guys. They have like the whole inside is like a vaccine site. It was so cool. There were so many people there. I didn't feel it at all. She was like, breathe in and breathe out. And she's like, done. It was like two seconds. And then I waited 15 minutes to see if I had any reactions or anything. I'm not really allergic to anything. Knock on wood. It's not wood, but so I was fine. So yay! First dose done, second dose. 
next month. I got Moderna, so I'll let you guys know how I feel later. Zane got Moderna yesterday too, and his arm was just a little sore. So, all right, let's head out of here because I think they have limited parking, and now people are looking at me, and okay. The lady that was giving it to me let me film it. She's just like, as long as you don't get me in it, I don't care. <laughs> We're out of here going home. Hi, we're home now. Um, I ran inside because it's about to start downpouring. It's going to be really bad today. So I'm in my cozies and we're relaxing. I have a lot on my mind and on the agenda. I want to post a TikTok. I have to upload my vlog for today. I have to post a brand deal on my Instagram story. What else we got? I want a vacuum and I want to cook. So that's, that's on my list for right now. Um, I've been, whoa. I've been wanting to try and make air fryer mozzarella sticks and so I'm gonna freeze you have to freeze the string cheeses so I'm gonna get that going now while I work on my video and so they're at least you know in the process and then I can make them after I just have these Trader Joe's light string cheeses so they aren't gonna be like super delectable delicious mozzarella they're a little like hard and less calories so it's fine i've got 10 of them here so i'm just gonna make all of them i'm gonna take them all out of their packaging put them in a ziploc and then put them in the freezer here we go In the meantime, and plus those are just gonna be a snack, I just wanna try them, I made myself some lunch because I'm really hungry. All I had was a bar this morning. So I just did some shredded chicken, spinach, arugula, avocado, red onion, mayo, and everything bagel seasoning in a pita. Easy, yummy lunch, I'm excited. Daddy. How freaking cute is Bailey, you guys? Like, she's just so cute as a little. I just love her little. Like, that's how she meows. She doesn't, like, Benji meows like a crazy person. Bella yells, and Bailey just goes. It's been a few hours. I was sitting on the couch getting work done and I feel really productive. I got my video up, got an Instagram up. So um, I was just relaxing on the couch for a little. It is now time for dinner, Zane is home. And we're actually making HelloFresh tonight, not spawns, but you guys know that I love them. And this seems like a pretty easy one. Plus I'm making the air fryer mozzarella sticks and that just goes great with some pasta and chicken. Um, so yeah. It's Sunday, pasta Sunday, you know what I mean? So that's what we're having. Uh, I'm really excited because this has kale and I actually don't know if I like kale. I've tried kale chips prepackaged and I hated them. But I think as a green in a salad, I will like it. Um, this seems like really easy prep. You, what do you do? <laughs> Boil the pasta, heat up the kale in a pan, cook chicken with Italian seasoning, and then you make a cream sauce, which is, there's a cream sauce base that comes in here, I don't know what that is. Uh, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, and then you kind of just toss it all together. So it's a really simple recipe. I'm gonna take you guys step by step on the mozzarella sticks, and then that I'll just throw together. I can link the recipe down below. HelloFresh has all their recipes um, on their website. So I kind of want to tidy up a little bit. By the way, it is 412. What time did I get? 11 30 ish. I ended up getting it. So 12 31 32 33 34 30. It's almost five hours and my arm definitely feels like a little bit sore, but other than that, pretty chill. I would say that I'm tired, but I don't think that that's a side effect of the shot. I mean, it could be a side effect, but I'm saying I'm probably feeling it just because it's a crappy rainy Sunday and I went to Zumba today and I think I'm just feeling a little like yawny, you know? So anyways, just wanted to update on that in case you guys are curious. I don't know why, but I feel like before I start cooking, I like have to put away all of these clean dishes. I just feel like it's staring me in the face. Okay. You got that something, baby, that I can go without just like a poison in me. You're all that I'm about. All right, 
there's still a few dishes in the sink, but I'll do those after like I have a mess from dinner, then I'll do it all at once. Okay, gonna start prepping the pasta. I'm gonna put my water to boil. Salt her up. Let's see how our mozzarella sticks did. Oh my God, they're frozen, beautiful. We're gonna need an egg, flour, and some panko. I'm seeing a lot of different recipes and I'm seeing a lot of different TikToks, so I think I might kinda do it how I want. I'm gonna dip flour, egg, and then a breadcrumb mixture, and then we'll air fry. I'm watching this guy's TikTok right now, and that's basically what he does. And he does it twice. 360 for eight minutes. All right, we got this, we got this. We're gonna do this. Okay, we'll use these. One, two, and three. We're gonna do an egg in one. I only have 10 sticks, so I don't wanna go too crazy, but I'm gonna do half a cup of panko and half a cup of Italian breadcrumbs. Half a cup of panko. That's gonna be a lot. Might be too much, but we'll see. All right, half cup panko, half cup Italian breadcrumbs, and then also about a half a cup of flour. Mix our breadcrumbs together. This is definitely too much for how much I have, but it's fine. I, I, I don't know. Sometimes I underestimate, sometimes I overestimate, so we'll see. Mix the flour. We don't need to do that because there's nothing in there. Actually, you know what? I am going to season the flour a little bit. Some salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Can't go wrong. Now we mix that together. Whisk our egg. Okay, She's in the, you put her there? Kinda, she's trying to get into it, she put it, I lifted her in there. Oh, she was, <laughs> <laughs> She couldn't get into it, and now she's happy. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna do these just yet. I'm gonna start cooking the Hello Fresh so that it's ready at the same time, so we're gonna put that aside, but that's what we're gonna dip in. Actually, let me put these back in the freezer so they don't fall out. When we're ready, we'll do that. All right, we've got some kale, pasta, Cream sauce, cream sauce, Parmesan, Italian seasoning. Oh, garlic powder, Italian seasoning. Simple. Oh, and chicken, I'm gonna make the chicken. All right, I'm gonna try this trick that I went on TikTok. Okay. Apparently if you go like this, this might be a whole bit but we're gonna try it. Smells like the ground. I think I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna wash this in the salad spinner. We're gonna get the pan going for the kale. Nice drizzle of olive oil. And pasta is gonna go in. So penne, uh, nine minutes. Nine minutes, starting now. Pan down. All right. Kale goes in here, pinch of salt, five to seven minutes. Then you, it says wipe out the pan after the kale. We don't do that. That's not allowed. You don't wipe yeah, out we need the, the flame. Yeah, you don't wipe out the pan after you make something. I love you, Olive Fresh, but I might have to stop working for you. <laughs> <laughs> Might have to stop working with ya. I'm just kidding. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to track this. It's just called cream sauce. All right, four, here's the deal. Four ounces of cream sauce. Here's the deal, buddy. What? I'm not gonna try to. Okay. So I was thinking about it. No problem. I'm just gonna use my brain school. No and problem. It makes your job easier. It does. I mean, honestly, everything's measured out here, so. That's what I'm saying. I'm just gonna use like my, uh, my mental notes, you know? Yeah, everything's pretty much measured. Okay, so these sticks. Let me just double check how I'm gonna do this. This should better work. The mozzarella sticks? No, this. Keeps it from going flat? <laughs> Apparently. Oh. But I hope I'm not falling for something stupid. Show them. Apparently if you squeeze out all the air, or like most of it, it keeps the soda from going flat. But I might just be doing something ridiculous that <laughs> doesn't even work. You might as well try. We're gonna try it. Why, you have a problem with it going flat? Uh, yeah, cause I don't really drink soda often. So oh. like, yeah. This guy makes the, the mozzarella sticks with buffalo sauce in the egg. All right, flour, egg, breadcrumb. Wait, is that your favorite guy? No, it's a random guy. Okay, flour, egg, breadcrumb twice. Air fryer? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be putting the kale in. Pinch of salt and pepper, five to seven minutes. Until tender. We've never really had kale, I feel like. I don't think I've ever had kale. I've had kale chips, but I've never had it like in a salad or like straight up or in a pasta, but I feel like it's good. Or people have it in smoothies too. Oh wait, I was supposed to remove, wait, <laughs> It says, remove any large ribs, meaning these giant things. We don't wanna eat that. It's okay, the pan's not too hot yet. Oh, this is simple. Okay. Okay. All right. 
my god, I can't believe I forgot to do that. That's stupid of me. So Zane's gonna prep the chicken. It's just like Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and then we're gonna cook it on the pan. Not me risking burning myself to get these things out. You just do it after. Okay, I feel like I got all the big ones. And if I didn't, I'll get them out. Oh, oh there's a big one. Invincible, I'm invincible. Now we're good. Salt and pepper. Okay, mozzarella sticks, here we go. Oh my God, and the pasta is a two dish, a two pot dish, that's good. Here we go, all right. Wait, what did I say? Egg flour, no, flour, egg, breadcrumb, twice. A lot of recipes call to cut these in half, but. What? The mozzarella sticks. Oh. I just left them full. Look a little big. That's pretty big mozzarella sticks. Okay, let's see. Flour. Doesn't fit in here very well. Okay. Let's get down and dirty. Flour. Oh no, it's not gonna fit in these bowls. I think I have to move the egg. Okay. Cow actually smells good. It does, right? Yeah. It smells really good. I actually should stir it. Wait, do I need to do this twice or should I just do it once? Uh, I don't know. Wait, do what twice? Dunk it in flour? Flour, but this and this. I mean, I don't think so. Right? Like, I feel like... Coat, but like that oh, good. Let's try it like this. I'm never good at these recipes. Try to dunk it? What? Drain it? Yeah, yeah, drain it. Trying to use cool lingo. Yeah, that was the pasta. Can I dunk it? <laughs> do I want to put it back in the pot? No, you leave it in the strainer. We're gonna be about to use that pot. Can you bring them in the spatula? Yeah. There's some pasta stuff over here. Okay. This bowl isn't big enough either. I should have cut them in half. Maybe I could just snap them since they're frozen. No, the kale actually smells good. It smells really. What does it smell like? Like broccoli? No. I don't think this one's coated enough. I'm not. I'm not getting good egg because I'm not using a shallow enough bowl, and I'm probably gonna need another freaking egg. Double coat. Okay, I'm gonna do the mini because it's just easier. But I guess I should have. I'm using all the wrong hands. I, this is <laughs> not good at this stuff. I've lost my wet and dry hand. Baby kale. Baby kale. I think it's regular kale. Uh, it's terrible. It seems tender now. Okay. What does it say? Put it aside and then put the chicken? Turn off heat, transfer to plate, wipe out pan, pan to the Okay, so put it aside and put the chicken on. <laughs> Oh, we're losing some guys. Oh my god. I could totally be doing this with a knife, but I'm just ripping them in. Oh. All right, we see you soon. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back. One of your gulag. What? Nothing. Say something about a gulag. Boys, one joke. You got that. Wait, you know that the gulag is in Warzone? Yeah, because you speak a different language when you play that game. I haven't played Warzone in months. I don't know what the you're playing you speak a different language whenever you play not really yeah, you're like up g4 gulag up to the left oh my God, what? a5 baby you act like i'm playing battleship <laughs> yeah. you say like he's one shot in the alley one shot in the alley a5 behind you can't tell me like you don't know what that means no. one shot in the alley there was one shot in the alley no that's close <laughs> No, it means like the guy, like there was a guy in the alley and now he's one shot. Like if you hit him with one shot, he's dead. Like oh. you got him weak, but you didn't fully kill him. No, I would assume that somebody got shot in the alley. Yeah, that's what it is. One shot alley. He's got one shot left. He didn't get shot once. No, he's, he got shot and now he's only one shot away from dying. Yeah. No. Teaching you Kyle Lingo. Should I look this heat up? Because it was on low. Or is it added to the pan now? You can put it in now. Should be fine. Okay, okay, here's the update. Um, I decided to do minis. I should have done that the whole time, but I didn't realize how big the freaking cheese sticks were. I couldn't fit them in the bowls. We have a little bit left over of breadcrumbs and flour, so I overestimated that a little bit, but if I cut all of them in half, then it would have been like a little more surface area to cover because of the ends. So maybe I would have used all of it. I'm not sure, but here we go. We've got a few big ones and some minis. They look good. Chicken is going. Zane's making the cheese sauce. We got the kale on the side and these are going in the air fryer and everything's gonna be perfect timing. Can I'm doing, huh? 
Can yeah, yeah, it? yeah, please. I'm gonna do 350 for eight minutes. We just preheated it. Oh, and I have those tongs that I just used. Okay, spray it. I'm gonna spray them. Those bananas out of here. And they're going in. I saw some recipes online that they didn't freeze their mozzarella sticks. Some people put on the coating and then froze them. So I think there's just a ton of different methods that you could do. Oh, I wish I cut all of them in half. I guess I still could cut it in half if I wanted to. It just looks so cute. Why are we not focusing? Okay. I probably could have fit all of them too. Oh wait, I still will. Okay. Nobody cares. Just chatting. Oh, I'm overcrowding. Just a little bit. Just a little. We'll fit them all in there. All right, there we go. Let's see how they go. Yay! I figured out what the kale reminds me of. It smells like... Stop! Wait, that's not Google. Oh, I have to post my brand deal on Instagram. Okay. Wait, that's a gym. I know, I just turned it on. Oh. I didn't... Whatever. It smells like Brussels sprouts, the kale. Should I try a little piece? Yeah, why not? Let's see. Mmm! That's good. Alright, can you turn off the like heat? For the pasta sauce? I mean, yeah, for that sauce, turn off the heat. Oh, it looks good and cheesy. Oh, wait a second. What? You forgot to put the cheese in? No, there was two packs of garlic powder. I didn't realize that. Oh, alright, just put it in. It's fine. Throw them in! Alright, alright. Empty that and then... Parmesan? Yeah. Time for the parmesan. Okay. Oh my, this is gonna be... Delicious. Incredible. Creamy pasta? I think that would be my and death... And I'm about to go to heaven. <laughs> I think that would be my death row meal. Creamy pasta. Really? Creamy pasta with vegetables in it. Vegetables on your death row meal? Maybe. What would you think I would have on my death row meal? What would you have? What would I have? You don't mean No, what would I have? I mean, like, what do you think I would have? It's gotta be a creamy pasta with veggies. No. Some asparagus, some no. peas. What? You know what I think you would have? A McDonald's cheeseburger. You would have a Connie salad. <laughs> you would have General Tao chicken. You would have mm -hmm. beef lo mein or like beef fried rice, one of them. Chow fun, beef chow fun. You would have beef chow fun. You would have the crab ragoons. <laughs> and to end it off, you would have cheesecake. <laughs> sugar cookies? Cheesecake Not cheesecake and sugar cookies. Cheesecake. All right, ready? Yeah. Butter. Oh my God. Oh, it smells like garlic bread. Butter going in. Mm. Should I flip these or leave them? Full, full eight minutes. How, how, how long is left? Five. Let's flip. Ooh, the chicken strips. Actually, you know what? I'm not flipping them. <laughs> oh, we are making a Penne. mess. I know, we are making a mess. Okay, I'll clean up a little bit. I forgot to film taking them out. Sorry, guys. But uh, they exploded a little bit, but I bet they'll still be delicious. We're heating up some sauce in the microwave. Here's our pasta, creamy. We just cut up the chicken and put it in there. Zane's watching his video games. I'm watching Good Trouble, and we're about to dig in. Uh, we'll taste test these first, so here we go. Oh, this is hot. Okay. Oh, my hands are on All fire. right, okay. I'm literally burning my fingers. <laughs> All right, <fine>. okay. <laughs> also, can I say, too, they're not going to be that that good because it's the light string cheese. You know, if I got like, I want to say wholesome, but like whole mozzarella, you know? Yeah. Not like fat free. No, I bet she's going to be good. And yeah, it'll still be bomb. Sunday fun day. This is what Sundays call for. Yeah. Mozzarella sticks and pasta and TV. Ben Bailey. And it's a rainy Sunday, so it's perfect. I know. Okay, wait, we have to try mozzarella stick. Sorry. Moths? Yeah. This is my first meal. So excited. Wait, I feel like the cheese all came out. Oh, solid. They need salt, but I'll take it. It does. And it's not us. It actually needs salt. Yeah. I need to figure out how to make those like big battered mozzarella sticks. I love those. You probably have to like for real fry them. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Oh yeah, true. De I know. I always have to keep in mind that we air fry things. Yeah. Mmm. How's that? It's going to be bomb as usual. It's going to be like mac and cheese, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. -mm. <laughs> Kale's good. Kale's a little bitter. I'm trying to figure out if I like kale. Yeah. This would also still be good though with like spinach or something. It's too bitter for me. I would prefer spinach, but it's still good. Yeah. I don't hate it. Because the pasta, the sauce, and the chicken mm -hmm. is fire. Mm -hmm. I just yeah, it's not HelloFresh's fault. We just wanted to experiment with kale. Yeah. And I figured if we're going to try kale, we should try it in a HelloFresh dish. Yeah. I like it. I prefer spinach, but it's still good. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to watch myself. <laughs> 
Alright guys, I have procrastinated for long enough, laid on the couch and watched my show, watched TikToks, ate my little heart out. It's time to clean. I need to have my little boost of energy right now because tomorrow is Monday, I want a fresh start and it just needs to be done. So, clean with me. Here we go. Okay, everybody, kitchen is clean. I've been catching up on American Idol. I put the laundry away. I just have two things still drying right there. The living room is tidied up. I did not get to vacuum today, but it's late now. And I just don't feel like doing it. The bedroom needs a tiny bit of work, but this is all the energy I've got in me today. <laughs> I don't know if it actually was, but I feel like today's vlog was probably a little bit short, so sorry about that. You guys, I, got, I feel pressured, okay? Hello. I feel like I'm held to a standard of like 30, 40 minute vlogs and like sometimes I just don't have that much content in a day. And right now with the pandemic going on, it's like there's only so much I can do. And I do upload every other day, but I also don't want to put out like content just to make it long, like quality over quantity instead of quantity over quality in minutes, I guess. Since I am sticking to the every other day, I kind of have to come up with content, but I don't want to just like make it long and boring because then my watch time will go down because you guys won't be interested. Anyways, I got this set from Amazon. It came up on my like recommended. Oh, point being is, I lost my train of thought. Point being is if my vlogs are like, I actually haven't gone under 20 minutes in a long time. But if I did one day, at least it's something. You know what I mean? So don't don't yell at me, okay? <laughs> All right, this set on Amazon came up on my um, like Discover page. I don't know what you would call it. It just popped up, like recommended for me. And then when I was reading reviews on it, because I like to see what sizes people get, it said, I got this from TikTok, which I thought was so funny. So apparently this went viral on TikTok. It's a ribbed workout set, but it's like a sand color oh i just i love it i mean i haven't tried it on yet but it looks like it's gonna be like the perfect length the perfect color and i'm really excited about it so i will try this on in the next vlog for you guys i I think I went with the extra small because it's stretchy. They only have like extra small slash small and then small slash medium. And I would prefer my workout stuff to be tight rather than too loose. So I don't know, the, the top might be a little small, but maybe we'll be fine. Thank you, Bench. But so far the quality is like really nice and thick. So I'll link it if you guys wanna try it. I always just buy stuff from Amazon because it's free returns, most stuff. And it's like really easy. I just drop it off at UPS. So I don't know if you guys want to try it out. But I have not tried it on yet. So I can give my opinion. Update on the arm. It is 11.20 at night. And I'm pretty sore. It feels like I worked out my biceps a lot. But other than that, I'm fine. So that's my update on the Moderna shot. My mascara is all over my face. I'm tired. Okay. Ooh. I need to fill the cat water fountain. Do you guys hear that? It's running low. Oh, also really quickly, wanted to update. Um, the HelloFresh was absolutely delicious. I actually really liked the kale. Zane wasn't a huge fan, but I liked it. And also the mozzarella sticks would be way better if I didn't use like a low fat, or I don't really remember what I got, a light string cheese, whatever they call it. It would definitely be better if I used um, just a better, softer mozzarella. Like that string cheese is just like really hard. Um, and so once they cooled off, it, it 
just not like soft cheese anymore. You know, it becomes just like hard string cheese. Like it goes back to its solid form. But we ate them all. They were good. But I would recommend using a different string cheese. That Trader Joe's string cheese honestly is not my favorite. I probably wouldn't buy it again. It was kind of like a little lackluster in the flavor department. Like I'd rather have a baby bell. So at least we tried. We dipped them in a lot of sauce and ate them all. Okay. I'm joining Zane in bed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.